Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. As the newest residents of the orbiting laboratory adjust to their new home, another crew said its goodbyes to space and headed home for a warm welcome. After 157 days in orbit, the international crew of four that made up NASA's SpaceX Crew-5 splashed down safely in their Dragon spacecraft off the coast of Tampa, Florida on Saturday. The members of Crew-5, NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, along with JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata and Roscosmos cosmonaut Anna Kakina, traveled over 66 and a half million miles during their mission and completed 2,512 orbits around the Earth, all while contributing to a host of science and maintenance activities and technology demonstrations. While one crew is back on Earth, the work aboard the space station continues with the arrival of the latest cargo resupply mission. And liftoff of TRS-27, go Falcon, go Dragon. SpaceX Cargo Mission 27 launched this week from Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The following day, the Cargo Dragon approached and docked to the space station at the forward docking port of the Harmony module. Aboard CRS-27 is over 9,000 pounds of cargo, including new crew provisions, replacement hardware, and new science payloads. Some such payloads are two heart-related investigations as part of the Tissue Chips in Space program, a collaboration between the National Center for Translational Sciences at the National Institute of Health and the ISS National Laboratory. Cardinal Heart 2 will build on the Cardinal Heart investigation, a study which earlier affirmed the hypothesis that microgravity can adversely influence engineered heart muscle tissues. Cardinal Heart 2 aims to test whether clinically approved drugs can mitigate the signs of the abnormal effects seen from the first study. This follow-up study could provide a deeper understanding of how major heart cell types respond to drugs in the space environment and lead to new innovations in drug development strategies on Earth to treat patients with diseases such as heart failure. Also coming on SpaceX 27 is Engineered Heart Tissues 2, building upon the first study which investigated changes at the cellular and tissue level that could provide early indication of the development of cardiac disease. This new study will test whether new therapies can prevent negative effects from occurring. These studies could also help patients at risk of developing heart disease back home on Earth as well. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us on April 3rd when NASA and the Canadian Space Agency will announce the crew that'll take us back to lunar orbit on Artemis II. That mission will be the first crewed flight test towards establishing a long-term presence in deep space. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.